Hey, what's going on Dev? Welcome back to FDev Channel. In today's episode, we're gonna create this nice website with this navigation bar, also this typing text effect, these buttons, and this image here, everything the easy way. Hey, if you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you don't miss anything. All right, devs, let's get started and let's do it from scratch. Okay, in the beginning, we have just pictures, this lady here, her name, Emma, or something like that, and also this bugger. Okay, there is a link down below so you can download that from my Facebook page. Okay, let's hit exclamation and tab, and you have the boilerplate in the title. Let's say something like create website with auto typing text effect. Okay. We also need a link connecting our backup to our CSS. This way we can style this. And moving to the body, let's have our header. Everything is going to be inside this one. Now we are in the realm of CSS where part of the magic happens, okay? And you're going to start by changing the font. The one you have here is not nice, okay? So let's grab the poppins. You can pick the one you like the most, okay? And let's just paste it here, okay? Let me make it bigger. Down here, let's have a CSS reset. So our website is going to be the same across different web browsers, okay? Image zero, padding also zero. And for the box sizing, it's going to be border box, okay? One more thing here. Now, we are going to use the font that is coming from Google Fonts, okay? So font family here is going to be Poppins and so serif as a fallback. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to grab the header. Okay, let's apply a width of, let's say, 100% of its parent. Okay. Let me put it side by side here. Okay, let's see it in real time. As you can see on the left, you have nothing, just a white screen. And let's start a uh, style with it. First of all, let's create a border so you can see this header. It's hard to style something if you cannot see. So let me apply this border, okay? Height here is going to be 100 VH. And as you can see, now you know what you're styling, okay? Background color here is going to be this one. 0, 2, 0, 4, 12, okay? A dark color. Padding top and bottom 0, 80.5%. And the position is going to be relative because you're going to have some positive stuff. And yeah, that's it for now. Okay, we have our style for our header, but we don't have anything in here. So now let's create our navigation bar. Okay, let's use Emmet here. Let's have a nav. Inside this one, you're gonna have a URL, another list. We need a couple of allies. Actually, we need four of them. And inside of this, we're gonna have a couple of echo tags also pointing to nowhere, okay? href pointing to nowhere. As you can see, here it is, okay? Our navbar, first home, now about. This one, let's say portfolio. And the last one here is going to be services, okay? As you can see, we start to have our page here. Let's give more space. And yeah, our navbar is almost done. We have part of our navigation bar, okay? So now we want to add two pictures to this one. The links are down below in the video description, okay? The first one is going to be this one, the logo. This is the name of the person. You can put your name here. This, in this case, is Emma. All right. And the second one, we're going to have our menu icon. Okay, just a picture. So go to the image menu. And as you can see, they are here. Okay, those two pictures. So now we have this, Emma. We have the navigation. Okay. And also this icon. All right. The markup is done, okay? You can grab the pictures down on my Facebook, okay? Facebook Web Dev Medias. So now let's apply some style to it, okay? First of all, let's grab the nav. As you can see, 
in this area apply the layout is going to be flex side by side horizontally the width i want that to be 100 percent align item center along the cross axis and flex wrap wrap okay we want that wrap let's apply some padding 30 pixels zero and also 10 pixels okay and now we want to grab those icons okay let's start by grab the first one the emma let's apply a width of 120 pixels okay and the cursor is gonna be a pointer so the user now that now he can click on it okay all right let's apply some more space here there is nothing we can do in this with this logo and more space now we, you can see it now it's time for the second one the menu icon okay and this one let's also change the size it's gonna be 35 pixels the width and the cursor also pointer okay for the same reasons let me apply some zoom okay now you can see it okay now we want to grab the ul itself okay so let's grab the nav ul and let's apply flex one okay and in here the text align is going to be center and we want to bring it to the left so padding right is going to be 40 pixels and we have this space in between the icon now we want to apply same style to our allies okay so let's grab the nav ul ally first of all display we want, we want that to be line block list style we want that to be none okay and let's apply some margin okay of 10 pixels top and bottom and 30 pixels okay as you can see it was too big okay too much zoom let's go back in here and now let's grab the anchor tag itself they have an ugly underline so let's change the color first here color is going to be white and now let's deal with the text decoration none so bye bye to that ugly underline text transform is going to be uppercase length space here is going to be one pixel okay and we also want the font size to be 17 pixels and again it's too big so i'm adjusting here transition is going to be dot three seconds and now we're going to grab the same echo tag here okay from up here and let's apply some hover effect to it okay first of all let's pick a color our primary color here okay now every time the user hover over this one the color is gonna change okay you can use any color you want okay i just picked this one i'm not good at color but i i'm using this one okay our navigation bar is ready okay it's done and now let's go back here to the markup and in here we are gonna create that some taxes okay and later on the image so let's have same space here okay if i can my mouse is not that good okay now let's do it and here let's have our main div okay it's gonna be the text box of course that's where we're gonna put our text let's have h1 say i'm emma or i don't know emma down i don't know if this is the right way of pronounce that one english is, is not my first language okay and let's have also paragraph here first i had to learn english to be able to learn web development so that's that's it into into the paragraph here let's say you can reach out to me if you need and help in making 
a website for your business or for you, okay? Maybe we can add something like, that's not for free. I had to start a lot to be able to do that. But that, that's another story, okay? Let's have here an ankle tag here. We're gonna make it into a button, okay? We have two. This one say, contact me. And someone can pay us to make a website or ask us to do for free and you say no. <laughs> and let's have another one here. This one is gonna say upload, if I can type, download CV. I don't know why people want CV. They can see your portfolio, your creations. That's enough. All right, the text is here. We cannot see that because it's black. Okay, so let's change the color here in the header. Color is gonna be white. And yeah, now we can read it. Let's also make a, a couple of changes here. Okay, let's apply some style. So let's grab the text box first. And let's bring it down 15%, okay? Margin top, 15%. Font size here, you want that to be 17 pixels. And let the space is gonna be one pixel in between them. And in here, we will also have to change the line height to 26 pixels. And yeah, this part is done. Now we should be grabbing the I'm Emma down, okay, our H1 and make it bigger, okay? So text box not 11, but one, okay? And let's change the size. Font size here is gonna be huge, 75 pixels. Line height here is gonna be 16 pixels, okay? So the H1 is nice. Our H1, I'm M down is almost done, okay? At least for now. So let's grab the buttons, okay? Those ankle tags, and let's turn them into buttons, okay? Let me copy this one, and let's have ankle tag all right so margin top is gonna be 30 pixels display inline uh, in black okay we also want that to be a border radius of let's say six pixels so it's around around its corners and uh, border let's pick a column okay our primary color here this yellowish color good and for the text let's use the same the exact the same column okay the call let's just copy this one and paste it down here okay after 950d and for the padding 10 pixels top of the bottom and 30 pixels left and right okay And one last thing here, let's have our get rid of this text decoration, okay? All right, and now we're gonna grab those ankle tag here and let's turn them into buttons, okay? First of all, let's have a background color and let's use our primary color, okay? This yellow color. So we cannot read the text, let's change that to black, okay? One more thing here, margin 30 pixels all the way around. And for the font weight, you want that to be 600. All right, we are now in the final steps, okay? We want, if we, the, my mouse works, yeah, it's working now. I want to have that picture here, okay? That picture of a lady, okay? So it's still in the head and outside of the letter box doesn't make any sense to be there. Let's have our, our image and the class is gonna be user dash img, okay? And in here, let's point to our picture, okay? There is a link down below so you can download that one or use any image you want, okay? Let's just copy this one because we are gonna apply some style. As you can see, it's impossible. At least see the picture. There is a, a couple of things we should be doing. The next step here is gonna be 
composition, okay, apply same style to our picture, okay, with it's gonna be 600 pixels, the position is gonna be absolute, okay, so you can manipulate this from right to zero and from bottom also zero, and as you can see, we have this nice picture, okay, nice job. All right, and now we want that type JS, okay, effect. We did before using vanilla JavaScript, but this time we're gonna use a script, okay, from someone else, from this guy here. Thank you so much. There is a link down below in the video description, okay? So let's copy this CDN and let's paste it here, very close to the closing body tag, okay? And now we can use this, okay? Let's come down here and let's create another script tag. Let me give it more space so you can see. This is the JavaScript part of the project, okay? This is where the magic really, really happens, okay? So in here, let's say let's type it equals to new, type it, and in here, let's get an element, let's use the class auto input, I know, we well, don't have this anywhere, okay, so let me just copy this one, remember that name, Emma down, down here, up there, okay, we're gonna delete this one, and instead of this one, we're gonna create a spam, okay, and let's apply this auto input class, okay? So now we are gonna manipulate this one and outpopulate that using JavaScript, okay? In here, let's have the strings that we wanna show. Strings. And let's have a couple of strings. Let's have at least three of them, okay? The first one is gonna be Emma Downing. The second one, let's say that she's like us, web developer, okay? And let's say that she's also a blogger. All right. She also is a nice person, she's a web developer, she's a blogger. And now we want the deal with the speed, okay? Type of speed is gonna be 100, and the back speed is also 100. And we also want that to happen all the time, okay? So loop is gonna be equals to true. Let me give it a save. Okay, as you can see behind her, yeah, let me put it in the full screen. As you can see, it's working, okay? I'm Emma Downer, I'm a web developer, and I'm a blogger. So that's it for today's guys, I really hope you will like it, if you like it, you know what to do, subscribe and just click that little bell down below, so you get notified every time I post a new one. See you in the next video, bye bye.